What's going on? And welcome back to the Kicking It With podcast. My name is Zach Holcomb. Today we're got episode thirty-two. I know, getting up there. Allison Merritt is with me today, so super excited about this. Welcome Thanks. to the show. Excited to be here. Thanks a lot, Zach. Absolutely. Thanks for coming by early too. We got to do the whole tour of the building and all that fancy fun yeah. stuff. How'd you like that? I loved it. Loved yeah. all of it. Big loved fan of the hexagons. I, I think. am a hex fan. Yeah. Thanks, Definitely going to have to have some of those on my wall. And you went hard, too. You even got, like, some additive colors on. Oh, yeah. got the hat. Oh, yeah. I'm oh, down yeah. with it. I like it. Yeah, I had to wear a hat because Zach always has a hat on, so I had to come out with a hat. I like it. I took it off the other night because I had to, like, shed this, like, pullover that I had that wasn't my company. I had to get, get my branding out. And uh, Dan was like, you're not going without the hat, are you? I was like, oh, God, no. <laughs> Absolutely not. He was like, cool. I saw that picture the other day that you posted, and I went right on by it, and I didn't even know it was you. So Everybody recognizes anyway. you without the hat, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I don't even recognize myself without the hat. Yeah, I had to go to Mary Whaley to get a haircut because uh-huh. I was like, hey, my mom cut hair for years, so mm-hmm. like usually I was hooked up. you know. Yeah. And I had to go over, and I was like, please hook me up. I got to go to – I had this court thing I had. I was like – I got to not wear a hat, so if you don't right. mind making it look somewhat acceptable for the three or four hours I got to be in there, that'd be That's great. Right. So. Don't tick Amen. off the judge. <laughs> not wear Amen. a hat. Yeah. Amen. I already learned don't wear them in, in church neither. So. No. That's right. Not during the service. That's right. Winnie Hugh, welcome back, or welcome on. I'm super psyched. I know we've like, we just pretty much already cheated and spent like 30 minutes chatting, Here so we, we got a bunch of cool stuff out of the way. Sorry yeah. about that. Hopefully you'll get some, hopefully we'll, we'll dabble back That's in right. there. But any, I, wanted, I was excited to have you on. We, uh, I originally reached out to Bobby, and he went ahead and threw the deflect and, uh, and got you up here. And I was like, you know what? That's probably for the better. She's <laughs> much, much, much more talkative when I run into them in, in public. Uh, so well, He's fun. He'll, be, he, oh, yeah. he'll talk all about music yeah. and, and lots of things. So, yeah. yeah. We'll Have get him. that episode eventually. Yeah. He yeah. threw you to the wolves, though. He did, you actually. He did. Had to do my homework, yes. Yeah. I was a little nervous. No, no more. Worries. No more. Yeah, no worries. No worries. So what have you been up to? I know you just recently retired. I know you've been a part of some bunch of cool, fun things in town. Now you're retired, which has got to be the life. It, and you're you know, into this little wellness journey. I yeah, like it. Yeah, it is. Uh, well, you know, I just made the decision about a year ago. They say you know when it's time to retire. And so last July, it hit me, and I said, I'm out of here. So I'm 20, tw- let's see, 12, 22, 22, sound like a number I could remember. And yeah. so we just decided after 38 years, my partner and I and hair to um, close the shop down, sell the building, and just be retired. I'm a little young for all the retirement money, as we'll say, but sure. my husband's been retired about, gosh, five or six years now, and um, life's short, and I just had the sense of the feeling that we needed to go while we could go, where our health allowed us to travel physically as far as walking and, and doing things and seeing things, and so I, we made the decision, you know, spend less, um, be a little more frugal, and... Um, pay things off, and just go and enjoy the journey. We have a little trailer that we like to travel in. And so, oh, yeah. Yeah, a little RV. So nice. um, that's fun. Yeah, and it's uh, it was a good decision. I have no regrets. I mean, it was a sad day yeah, and week because they're the friends. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, keep in touch with them, though, and try to keep in touch with a lot of them. Um, I don't think really people came to me for the greatest haircut in Kinston. They came to me to hopefully be encouraged, and we shared a lot of goodness and sadness and prayers and things through my through my 38 years and became really close. So mm-hmm. it was the friendship and the relationship is what we both miss. Mm, not yeah. for sure. I totally get that. My mom, I grew up like hanging out in the salon and stuff oh. from time to time with my mom. She had her own for a minute and stuff like that. So I totally yeah. understand how that whole kind of Did she like make you fold any towels or work any? Oh, uh, with folded towels, yeah. yeah, definitely had to sweep hair. Oh, and yeah. That was like a given. As soon as you walk in, you just locate with your eyes Absolutely. the room and dust pan. See the hair. Well, it's funny. Yeah. Kids don't you mind doing though. it. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. they tip me out, so it was oh, cool. Good. And then there was a baseball card shop, like, in the same little strip mall. No way. So I was like, I'd go over and, like, sweep hair until I had enough to go buy a pack of cards, and I'd run over there. And then oh. I'd be like, oh, I didn't get any good ones, and then I'd come back and brush yeah. my hair. How about <laughs> Beanie Babies? And I guess that was not Oh, your... man. No, we were in the Beanie Babies hard. Yeah. My grandma went real hard on Beanie Babies, yeah. like... I'm pretty sure she bought some fake Princess Diana bear. Like I'm pretty, I like looked at it later. I was like, Grandma, I think you got took in that <laughs> flea market. But she was oh really, really into it. My she had like a me. set of teeny beanies for each of the grandkids. Oh, you remember really? those? I hardly do. Yeah, that was at the end. Oh. The little teeny beanies. The oh, yeah. so you must have been early in the game on the beanies. Um, we were. Yeah, we nice. were. Dad, Bobby would wait at Hallmark to mm-hmm. the doors yeah. open to get the right one. Whatever the latest one was, we have a whole mm-hmm. huge box of them. Nice. So does everybody else, though. Yeah, it's like you're, it's why you're able to retire so early, oh, yeah. right? Oh, yeah, I'm living off any baby money. My, My grandma was like, British. I am paying for the kids to go to college. And we were like, yes. And yeah, that didn't turn out. She that still had a lot of Beanie Babies. Yeah, exactly. She ended up like donating them all, you know. So at yeah. least they like went to like a cool thing. But I remember being like, man, 
you didn't even get like that. You didn't even get the charitable, you know, the tax deduction for that. I mean, all that yes, money is all crazy. That money. It, was a, it was a big anyhow, deal. Such is life. Yeah. Fads. Another fad will come for your yes. kids. Just wait. No doubt. There are always fads. Happen. No doubt. Absolutely. Yeah. So you've been doing some traveling here since the we retirement? We have. My husband's bucket list, and I hate to say bucket list because that means like you're kicking the bucket, but <laughs> he has always wanted to go to Hawaii. Yeah. And so we um, decided to take that journey. Um, our son, our, both our sons lived in California. One since moved east. And so we went to see our oldest son in California for a few days, which broke up the flight, which, by the way, yeah, is awful. Is. And then from there we went to Hawaii and went to Maui, Kauai, and we did pop over to Oahu to see the, um, the um, Pearl Harbor exhibition. Yeah, how which was, was Pretty cool. Very I mean, moving, sad very stuff, moving. It was, it was, well, I've become a history nut for some reason. I hated it as a child, but now I appreciate the value of it. Mm -hmm. And so it was interesting to learn how it came about, the, the, the thoughts behind it on both parts, and it was amazing, and it was very sombering. Yeah, mm -hmm. it absolutely was to see the wall of people that had died, but um, such a great, anyway, I was glad we went. Mm -hmm. You can't go to Hawaii and not go. Yeah, so, exactly. You take, How think, long is the flight from L.A.? Another five and a half hours. Oh, my gosh. And That's then you've got so five long. hours difference in your time. So I was waking up at 4.30 with the roosters. Sometimes the roosters woke us up at 1.30. Nice. Um, I'm not a fan of roosters. No. I'm not Check a fan anymore. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. But anyway. Adding a rooster to the estate is not in the no, bucket list. No, no chickens at <laughs> you, my It house. may have been, but it got scratched <laughs> off. It got scratched off. That That's is right. hilarious. I love it. Oh, but it was fun. So now we're going to try to do... Um, we're going to Tampa to take our youngest son down this next week and take some furniture and stuff. And so just do a lot of road traveling. After you've flown that far, you really don't want to get in a plane for a long time. Mm -hmm. And um, But we will. We'll do it again. Some other things we'd like to do. But just see the United States. There's mm -hmm. so much to see right here in this country. Oh, yeah. And um, the day trips and just do kind of what we want to do. The nice thing about being retired is you can do it in the middle of the week which, you know, most people travel on the weekends, so it yeah. saves you some money. And um, mm -hmm. so we're looking for it, and then see friends that we hadn't seen in a while. Right. What you got, uh, what you got on the list for 2023? Where are you heading this year? Anything? Uh, uh, are, you more, or are you more like, you know, I try to do months this and months. weekend, let's just go? We do that, too. I'm uh, going to see uh, a friend in um, Birmingham, Alabama. Okay. I'm actually going to fly. He got out of it. I wanted to do <laughs> the Freedom Trail and go to Montgomery and different mm -hmm. places. And he, he didn't, um, that was just not on his list. I said, well, you know, I understand it because my list is not to see all the ballparks in America. Right, and so I will, not, <laughs> I will not torture you with some of my wants if you won't torture me with some of your wants. But I usually plan the trips. Right. Um, and so we, but this is a cool thing called Harvest Host, which is where a, a place, it can be a brewery, it can be a uh, museum, and they'll let you stay, park your RV free oh, if yeah. you go in and spend money or time with them. So we look those. And then there's state parks, and then there's other places. I'm going to barter him out, though, as we start really traveling. I'm going to call say, the RV park yeah. and say, look, man, I've got this music on Saturday night for you if you give us two free nights. I like that. So I'm on it. Yeah. I am his new I am his new booking agent. Yeah. And um, so you, you, know, you learn to barter. Yeah, like a sales exec, you exactly. know. Exactly. Yeah, somebody's well, got to do the dirty work. I've got to learn some tricks from you, evidently. <laughs> but, um, yeah, yeah I like the social stuff. Yeah. You got good social media. We were yeah. talking about that a little bit early on. I'm going to go ahead and do a little shameless plug since I always forget to, and my wife yells at me, and she's like, if you're going to do the podcast, at least remember to mention the companies. Exactly. So, anywho, social media and fun stuff, branding, online, all that. One of the sponsors of the podcast is Big Bark Social. My wife, Stephanie, you met when you got in here. Mm -hmm. She does all sorts of different branding things, logo creation, website creation. Website creation is the main thing that she's been doing here lately. But, anywho. It's a shameless plug there real quick of, uh, of Big Bark Social. But That's right. Hit them up. Man, yeah, please. Hit them up. Please. Absolutely. It all helps. It all helps. But, no, we've been talking about your social stuff and the game that you got on social media, Instagram even. I mean, Well, I got hacked. Good. I got hacked. So oh, I'm you? back down to zero. But it's fine. You know, it's okay. very humbling just realize what's really important in life and that's oh, not yeah. necessarily the most important thing and sometimes you know um, social media can take up too much of your time oh, yeah. um, we can go down a rabbit trail and go, get on it too long so I'm working on that but I do enjoy the platform myself to learn from other people because mm -hmm. I want to provide value and I want to help people and uh, so I learn what other people are doing and, and just try to do it my way I think that's the big thing is not to mimic or copy, but just to put your spin on it and what works in your area. Because as we talked earlier mm -hmm. about business in Kinston, it's a whole other ball game. Yeah, yeah, your normal, mm -hmm. like normal, but I mean like your uh, analytical play on things and for selection and stuff like that, especially in retail from what I've seen like in this area, it's a, it's a whole different ball game for sure. It's, it's just a different game like you're never going to make money on a monday like there's yeah, just a lot yeah. of things that oh, we were close don't on exist. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah a lot of salons do that yeah and so i've gone from bricks and mortar to click and order 
I think. So, um, you know, you don't necessarily, as we've learned through COVID, um, have to have a, a brick and mortar business to survive. Mm-hmm. Everything people did get onto online working and online ordering and that type of thing. And so, um, that's where just people are now more. And so, I like that aspect. I just need to um, learn it better and learn how to help people with what they're looking for. Because mm-hmm. not everybody's looking for what you have. Right, for sure. Right? Yeah. It's not yeah. always just because you think they might need it. Not always the case. So I just want to be there for people if they're ready to make a change in their health or in their 2023 20, goals. I'm not a financial whiz, so don't even put that in my <laughs> list. But, you know, mental health or um, spiritual health or, or, or physical health because they all tie in together. Yeah, Very for sure. important. So what exactly do you have going on then? Do you want to go ahead and shamelessly plug? Shamelessly plug. I love that. Well, yeah. one of the things we do a lot, but it's hard to talk people into 30 days of committing to, to a, a different way of living but mm-hmm. or eating. Uh, I do healthy living. I, I am a proponent of healthy living, even though I did get breast cancer. And I've been a healthy vegetarian eater for 40, 30 years. So, you know, some things that you know, so much you don't have control of, what you're breathing, what you're, what you're ingesting, what, so many things. But you do have control of what you put in your mouth. Mm-hmm. And so, um, but I have a, a system of just trying to create, help you create one healthy habit. Drink more water. Eliminate, you know, maybe one soft drink with water. Yeah, like work that. on your sleep. Work on your exercise. Just baby habits that create a lifestyle change. And so, what do we say? 30 days to create a habit? Mm-hmm. Yep. And it's true. So, we have a 30 days healthy living program. And for those that absolutely cannot just even think about that. We have a just a healthy habits program. Just start mm-hmm. one new healthy habit. Some people don't eat breakfast, and that's really important. It's like putting gas in your tank. Yeah, okay, we'll talk later. Sometimes. Uh, my husband didn't used to eat it at all when he was working full time, but now that he's at home, he is a Lovix supporter. He loves mm-hmm. to, his loves his yeah, breakfast. Yeah, we, we definitely get Lovix like pretty frequently. I yeah. mean, that is if I'm eating breakfast, it's usually Lovix. Got my grits <laughs> from there this morning. They were killer. Yes, yes. And um. Then the other thing is one thing we're doing that we're starting to be excited about, this is a glutes and gut challenge okay. and working on your glutes, which is the largest, one of the largest muscles in your body. And if you don't have strong strength there, sometimes it can affect your back. But a glute and gut challenge, y'all really need to hit me up on that. It's funny because we'll, every day I'll just send you like three little exercises, whether it's squats or whether it's um, something for your back strength, three little things. I'm not making them up. They're already um, written down in their gut challenge because studies have shown not just my – any studies I've done, but scientific studies show that if your gut is healthy, it's, it's like your second brain. And so it, it actually is a direct, correla- a direct link to your brain. If you have bad gut, sometimes you have bad skin, mm-hmm. or you don't think clearly, you might have cloudiness. Um, and so many things start, all disease starts in the gut. And so mm-hmm. we just believe in that link. So we have a green gut glow challenge. And if you, um, he's going to post my Instagram, my Facebook. Most of you know how to get up with me. And so just, just hit me up. I'd love to um, hear what your goals are, not just spew what I think you should do, but hear what you want out of life or what's bothering you and see if I can help. I'm just here to help, here to make um, transformations, life, help you with life transformations that you can carry for the rest of your life. And I think we talked, how old are you, Zach? Uh, 34. Those were good years. 30s were good. 40s were year. 50s were gear. We're good. But those years go by fast. Yeah. And I don't want you to get to a point where you think it's too late to start getting healthy because mm-hmm. it's never too late. For sure. I tried to, like, start working out a little bit more here in the last, like, couple of months. And I went back to, like, not doing it and getting back into working and stuff. But doing, I still do a little bit of the wrestling high school, go. guys. Oh, yeah. It's fun. Do you? Yeah. Were you a wrestler in high school? Yeah. My that brother was, was and my, oh, one really? of my sons was. That's cool. Nice. Yeah, you look like you, you could get out of a get out of a hold, slip right yeah, out. Sometimes, kinda sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes. You use that on your wife, slippery moves sometimes. <laughs> yeah, all sorts of slippery <laughs> mo- slippery moves with my wife, yeah. That was good. I like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> men, men have to use all kinds of ways to stay out of trouble Absolutely. with their wives. I'm telling you. I'm I telling could you. help with that. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> We're just gonna talk about health. That is your mental <laughs> health though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it is. It's directly uh, correlated exactly for sure correlated too. To how healthy yeah. you are. And your stress level, absolutely. Exactly. Absolutely. Yeah. No, that's good stuff. I love it. That's hilarious. Absolutely. Slippery. You're slippery. <laughs> <laughs> Can't well, wait to talk to Stephanie about that. Yeah, um, yeah. I'll definitely suit you guys up to, uh, together on that absolutely. one for sure. What you got on your little list on down there? On my little list. Oh, well, one of my favorite quotes is, and, and I, this ties into, do you think you can start a new habit? And just start over, Zach. Mm-hmm. Even though you start and stop, just every day is a new day. It's oh, a yeah, do-over. Sure. So don't give up on it. Mm-hmm. Just maybe get your accountability partner, and somebody will call you and say, where are you? Why aren't you here? You know, so that really helps because you'll feel bad if you don't show up for them. But belief, belief has a sound, but belief also is really makes the difference between whether you do something or not. So if you believe you can, 
you can. Yeah, I do 100% believe that. You believe that. you can't. You yeah. can't. Yeah, and that actually, I think, came from Henry Ford. So that's nothing I've ever, you know, it's not came out of my mouth, but it is a belief of mine that you mm-hmm. really have to believe in yourself first. It's just like when you started these businesses. You believed it would work. Mm-hmm. Did you get anybody to tell you they didn't think it would? Uh, a lot, yeah. Yeah, and here you are. <laughs> yeah, still so. kicking, still kicking. And, and then I think a thing, a role for you and I in the, this community is, and, and I think we both do it to a point, is to support others when they don't have belief in themselves. If we have belief in them, just like your children, mm-hmm. they don't believe they can do it, but you believe they can do it. That's it. They, mm-hmm. they just they survive on your belief till they get their own. Mm-hmm. No, I definitely like that a lot, too. And I feel like we kind of have that a little bit, especially in, like, the downtown stuff. You know, it's mm-hmm. kind of like a little family down here, at least to yeah. the degree. We fight like family, too, from time to time, obviously, because why not? But, yeah, it's, um, it's really cool, though, to have people, like, there's days when even the most positive people, like, aren't feeling it. Exactly. And so it's cool when there's other people that definitely, like, pick up on your behavior. Like, they know you well enough to be like, you're kind of being reclusive, man. Why are you being reclusive? And then they come and they knock on the door and they pop in. And they're like, what's, I haven't seen you in a couple of days. What's going on? It's not like you. And you're like, ah, oh, I know. I just kind of down my dumps. Or, like, you go pop over and do it to other people. Yeah. So, yeah, I like that a lot. Yeah. And you're totally right on the, like, whether you believe you can or you can't, you're right. Yeah. It's so true. Like, it really is. It really is. And it's something I like to do, and um, I try to do daily. I don't always. It's my goal to do is have positive affirmations. Mm-hmm. I just started a new book, um, Shad Helmsteader, um, Shad Helmsteader, and it's um, I am. It's just about um, believing that you, you just you have to. We do a lot of head junk talk to ourselves. If we really were to yeah. write down what we say to ourselves in the course of a day, it'd be more negative. Yeah, we tear ourselves up. We're yeah. our worst enemy, and so it's important to put good positive thoughts in. Whether you write it down, I have it on my phone. Well, and then you have to speak it, speak mm-hmm. it out in the mm-hmm. universe. Yeah. Positive affirmations, it's real important. Um, so I just recommend that. And you can Google that. You can yeah. listen to it at night when you go to bed. Yeah, you can like follow that. certain people on Insta, yeah. like Insta or whatever that mm-hmm. are generally putting out that vibe. Actually, this is a really funny one. So today I was actually joking. I told you about, like, sometimes these podcasts, I do them, and the ones that you think are going to get a great reaction may not, and the ones that you don't really think you aren't expecting maybe do get. And right. it's all, like, analytics, but it doesn't – it's just numbers. It doesn't really right. matter. And I got this text from this is like a, one of these people that I like follow just because I don't actually know. the. I've met them, but like I don't actually know them mm-hmm. personally. But I did the little text group thing. And the one today was start creating content that you want to make, not for the likes or the follows. So many of you are so close to happiness. And it starts with one LinkedIn written post about accounting or being a project manager or video of your love for coffee on TikTok. Today's the day to go. And I was like, I literally woke up this morning and was like, what the heck? Why is like this video not popping on the views like the like I thought it would? And then it was like, just make it because you enjoy doing it, and that's really what that's mm. really the reason I like doing this. Like it's super fun. Yeah. I'm learning stuff from so many people yeah. that have lived a little more and done a little more and experienced different stuff. And then you take like all those years of experience. I mean, if I could add up the years of experience that I get to tap into over mm. what are we thirty two episodes already? I mean, yeah. some of it's crazy. I'm just trying to learn that stuff. Well, you're smart too. Um. To, to look around you and absorb, take take what works for you, or take, sometimes you don't know if it'll work or not till you try it, mm-hmm. but certainly learn from older people. I love an older community, and, and we're certainly an aging community, but uh, I try to learn from people every day. It's certainly, if you're open to it, mm-hmm. people can teach you, even children, especially children. Oh, yeah, everyone teaches, yeah. Oh, my gosh, yeah. Yep. So every day's a new day. Every day's a do-over. Don't ever think that you, you just get up. I'm just grateful for every day I wake up. Uh, I feel that, yeah. You know, I just get yep. up and say, what do you want me to do today, Lord? You know, show me the person that needs me or where you want me to go or do. And so try not to be all about what Allison wants to do. And that's hard for me. Yeah, I've, I hear you. Because I'm a doer. <laughs> so I have to, I'm trying to learn in retirement to slow down and listen and to um, follow the lead, mm-hmm. not necessarily take the lead. No, I hear you. I hear you. I'll tell my husband that when I get home. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you want me to keep that in or cut uh, that? <laughs> I don't know. I might need, oh, we'll talk about it. <laughs> too funny that's too funny well i noticed uh uh we had first run into each other i think at stanley saloon we had bumped into you guys and we chatted your wife yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. and we talked for a while and it was really funny and we got done we're like man you know people down in the south coming from a city you know talk a little slower a little bit of this but not that chick we were talking to tonight. She just goes and goes and goes. And then, like, and we loved it because it was really, I don't know, she was just dying laughing. She was like, I did it. She was, you know, <laughs> over to the moon about, you know, all the stuff you guys talked about in such a short period of time. And uh, then I saw your, pa- I think it was, like, your birthday or something. Mm-hmm. And Bobby wrote a post and was like, to, uh, to the woman we affectionately call, like, 
the hummingbirds. hummingbirds. And I was like, that is just so perfect. <laughs> that is such a perfect uh, description. Yeah, it is. I'll, I'll, give, I'll end with a, a favorite one of Bobby's things he loves to tell me. We were in Walmart one night, and he was standing there. And somebody walked by and said, where's Allison? He said, I don't know, but if you'll stand right here, she'll walk by you three times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, quit moving if you're looking for Allison. That just is hilarious. Just stay still. She'll see her go by. Yeah, my son calls me. I actually have an ornament on the Christmas tree. It's a little hummingbird. Oh, nice. So, yeah. Nice, nice, nice. And that I, is um, funny. Got one of the local artists, Carolyn Fletcher. She's yeah. painted me a, a hunting, hummingbird. It's my retirement picture. So I can oh, very cool. Flutter around, yeah. I like that. That's funny. Anyway, that funny. Yeah. yeah. Well, you said you got one of your kids moving down to where? Tampa? Tampa. And then you That's have another cool place. One, right? The other one's in LA, right in LA. One's a teacher, right. and then one's just gotten a new job with a comp sales in, selling insurance with Unum. U N U M, you heard of? Yeah, for He's pretty excited. They're like excited it. to go to a bigger city. They've enjoyed their time here, mm -hmm. and and you've got two kids, but um, we've just been blessed with the opportunity with COVID, and then with his move, older son came from New York for a couple months and stayed with us, and then this one's come for a couple months with his dog, two dogs, and girlfriend, and it's just been a blessing because you don't always get that when kids mm -hmm. get up. I mean, look at you, you're there. eight and a half hours away from your parents, oh, yeah, you yeah. know. Mm -hmm. So um, we always love it when y'all come home. So it's it's oh, been fun, sure. but anyway. Um, so, yeah, we're going to Tampa, heading to Tampa for a week. Very cool. Very That'll cool. be fun. It will be fun. And you're doing it, like, before it starts to get warm, too, right? Yeah. Like, so my husband's thrilled. Time. He yeah, hates he this wait. weather. Oh yeah, 40, was it 41 today as a high? I swear it didn't even make it to that. I don't but think it did. A lot of I people were, like, <laughs> going yeah. by. We were kind of chuckling. But it I was cold. I mean, I got the heat up at 74 today. It was warm here. when I walked back there. I thought, this is yeah. nice. Yeah, I had the fan. I was trying to pump it up here. It gets really cold. It's either really windows. cold up here. It's whatever it's like outside up here because the windows, yeah. And all those are, like, old windows. Yeah. So. Our house is total windows, and we have heated floors, and my husband <laughs> likes to keep it low so it's we freeze. Mm -hmm. I mean, and, and so my husband, my son's been fussing about the heat because they've been cold. But um, yeah, it's um, these windows definitely, but they're beautiful. Yeah, I like cool. being able to kick the door open. I like too. the way you did that. Yeah, nice. I really like that. Nice. That's a good choice. For sure. Yeah. It used to be a garage door back in the day. Did you know, I didn't that? know that? So <clears throat> I don't remember the time frame, but forty four was when they opened the store. Mm -hmm. And that was a drive indoor, and the door in the back was a lift door. That And so they used to actually, so it was told to me, I obviously was not here. But they used to pull cars in and load them in here. So they would pull them in there and out the other, I think was oh, the okay. way. So, you weren't even born then. Yeah. I, much less be here. I don't really remember that too yeah. much, too clearly. But I didn't. I didn't in the 60s that. or 70s, they built the little storefront and put the little brick thing in, so mm -hmm. I was told. And there was a little man door here on the side. Do you remember that man door on that side back I in the do, day? I do, but it was closed. They had stuff in front of it. Yeah, they ended up sealing it off. And hiding it. it had like this old, like 19, maybe like 60s, uh, like master lock on it from Did when they think? locked it the last time. Oh. I got to look. I'm not sure where all that went because the person wrecked the car through it. Oh, that's remember right. that? So, yeah, we had a vending machine sitting there, and they hit the vending machine so hard it ended up over there against Are the wall. Serious? And I was like, cool, note to self, uh, <laughs> don't put any desk in front of the windows. <laughs> You'd just be sitting there and get crunched. I know, or sitting here. there, because like, uh, if you would have yeah. been sitting right there and the uh, you just get blasted by a, van a vending machine, that would have been pretty brutal. But Anywho, it worked out, worked out great. Didn't have the, it wasn't in the financial plan to do, and then the, uh, you know, it worked out fantastic. I love it when... Something good comes out of bad. Yeah, sorry to the insurance company, but yeah, but and luckily the person wasn't hurt, right? I don't think so. I mean, de badly hurt. No, no, not was, killed. Yeah, it was like a fourteen or fifteen year old kid, oh, so it's no big deal. But you know, I find that in life that even in, in in death and even in sometimes pain and suffering, if you'll look for the good or the blessing in it, sometimes mm -hmm. you don't see it for a year or two later. It's yep. there. Yeah. And there's a learning experience. We talked about that. It's mm -hmm. always a learning experience. So. You know, we weren't promised rainbows and sunshine every day, valleys and mountains and valleys, but it's the friends and the relationships in the town. And that's why I love Kinston. Uh, I swore, I grew up here, went to high school here, went away to UNCW mm -hmm. for teaching. Nice. Swore I'd never come back here. <laughs> Moved back here for a while, you know, just to save some money, didn't save a dime. Fell in love and have never left. Yeah. But that's why I enjoy traveling. I enjoy seeing the big cities, the big places and more, but I always love coming home. I love seeing you in the grocery store and being able to say, hey, Zach, right, right. I don't like being in a grocery store. I don't know anybody. My son thinks it's weird, and, and yeah, I am weird. But <laughs> but I like that, that if I was to go to the grocery store and didn't have enough money to pay for it, you're behind me in line, you'd yeah, pay for so it, and I'd bring it to you tomorrow. Yeah, I've actually seen that happen like yeah. a bazillion times here, and it's yeah. it would never happen where I come no. from. No one's, they're just going to be like, uh, if you don't have the money for it, get out of the way. Yeah. Like, that's what it be there. Get your tires done. And, yeah. and you and yeah. don't, whatever. It's, it's just, it's a sweet, loving community. We certainly yep. have a ways to go with some of our divisions and 
has some growth to come, but it's it's home to me. Yeah. We won't ever leave. We won't retire and go to the beach. We are yeah. retired. We're still here, so we're not going anywhere. Yeah, there you go. Exactly. Yeah. I do like it for all that. I like uh, raising kids here from the perspective of, like, if I was raising them where I grew up, it, they would get a totally different thing. It's, we're kind of like throwbacks in the way that we kind of think and stuff for being, like, 30 or 35. So um, I kind of like that it's kind of, like, old school and yeah. people still wave, like, from car to car. It's, oh, yeah. Oh, it's yeah. cool stuff. It's stuff that, like, my dad used to always do in the neighborhoods, and we'd be like, mm. stop <laughs> waving at everyone. You don't know these people, Dad. Like, you you, don't, your you don't know that, and now I'm like, yeah. Well, the problem is, too, for me, <laughs> my eyesight's not that I'm nearsighted. I am, too. And so, and I'm very distinct, and, like, you can see me from afar and figure out that it's me because I wear the same thing every day, and not a lot of people around here wear a hoodie and a hat backwards and sweatpants. So, like, mm. and I would try to, you know, I'm, I just – it's one less thing I have to worry about every day. I just mm. grab another hoodie off the thing. But um, I'm very noticeable from afar, but I can't really see that. And people will see me, and they'll be like, hey. And I'm like, but I can't see far enough to actually tell who the person is. And I feel like such contacts? a jerk. No. I'm, I'm just weird about touching my eyes. I need and to just get glasses. You won't wear glasses? I just need to get glasses and, like, not be a baby about it. But There's some cool glasses. Yeah. Get you some glasses. I want to get, like, some Oakleys that are, like, transitionals. That would be mm-hmm. really cool. But when I looked at, I looked into them the last time, like, just the lenses for a prescription were, like, four or 500 bucks or something like that. Yeah. I was like, man. Do it because it's going to make your eyes worse with straining. Yeah. That's true. I'm starting to get the little. Yeah. Doing that all the time. I don't like that. Get it, yeah. I have to get some creams for it or something. Uh, I, hit I you can up. hook you up. <laughs> I can like hook you up on that. Absolutely. I like that. I like it. <laughs> well, no, you you mentioned that you're not uh, you're not super super involved in the Renaissance Fair this year, I'm but not. you were last year. I was it's and it was so a banger. It was a bang. It was so much fun. It was so outside the box for Kenton. And when my friend came to me and s- Rob and he said he wanted to do it, I was, I was a little bit like, really? I didn't. I had never been to one. Mm-hmm. So of course we got in the car and went to the one in Charlotte, <laughs> nice. and it was big time. It's been going on for years. It's yeah. it's, it's a city. I mean, you know, they keep uh-huh. theirs up. And so we came back with renewed hope and ideas, and and so it it was Rob Gaultier, and he's doing it this year. I I begged off. My husband wasn't happy. Well, he didn't want me to do something with of that enormity, but I said, please let me help this one time. And so anyway, it's and we had great help. Everybody jumped in and helped. But what was amazing is that it drew people from not Kinston. A few people came from Kinston and supported, and that's okay, but you need to go next year because the vendors are fabulous. I've never met nicer people. Mm-hmm. I mean, I've got mm-hmm. trinkets. People are giving me stuff. Like, I've got little trinkets hanging all over my mirror from things that people gave me, and nice. and we had good food. We, it was a little warm. We had great weather. It was supposed to rain the entire weekend, and I it did not. Yeah, it it's crazy. Yeah. It rained for five minutes. It's like we saw it. It went away. And um, this year, I think they're doing it in April. You have to check the website, ENC Ren- Ren- Renaissance Festival, and or check with Rob. And uh, it's gone, It's really fun. The vendors are great. The people are great. The in- entertainment was great. It's like nothing you'll ever do. We had people come from um, New York. I had one man. Okay, i got to tell you this story. And then mm-hmm. we had people come from way down, down east. We saw this little man walking through the park. He was in costume. He had a little suitcase walking. Look, he's on a mission. And I was out. I was kind of boots on the ground, so I stayed walking the park the whole time, or the fairground. And I said, sir, um, welcome to the Ren Fair. We're so excited to have you. He introduced himself. He had gone to the dump the day before on Saturday and seen it, had seen what we were having. He came out in full costume. He said, I'd just like to volunteer my services today. I said, great. He drew 200 people. He was a magician, and he was, <laughs> out, he was loud, and he was great. And he just gave his services free, but he wanted to be involved. Mm-hmm. And that's the kind of people there. I, I saw this man that looked like Santa Claus. He was from, like, like Winterville. And he said next year he'd come and do the old world Santa Claus. Okay. And so we paid a lot of people to do things, but, you know, we also didn't pay people. I've never seen a community mm-hmm. of more generous supportive helpful people it, it was a lot of fun the nice. costume i had two costumes i made my skirt out of a out of a curtain and nice, you know it was nice, just nice. fun it was just fun it's just a fun time so i really encourage you to come and support it you know you've got you can't really have too many festivals in one town nope. because it just brings more people here yep. and it brought people from everywhere and they they were thrilled and they'll be back so um kinston come lenore county y'all come and support it and check it out you're going to be pleasantly surprised um there's no three-headed people there there's nothing nothing to oh, darn but i'm um, just find that person. just <laughs> entertainment like you've never seen sword yeah. weaponry um juggling it was it was it was a lot of fun no, that's so, awesome what was funny was you we had mentioned it and we were talking before we got started and uh 
I was like, yeah, I saw it. And I was like, I don't know. Kinson the rest And you were like, actually, it, it was great. Because oh, like, so people. many people came and not a lot of them were from here. And I was like, actually, that's the, that's the whole point. That like, is the whole point. It's exactly the whole point of having those types mm-hmm. of things is you get to bring people from different silos and different communities into your community. And, you yeah. know, yeah, they bring some money and they contribute to the economy, but they're also going to go back with... Anyone that came to Kinston just for the Renaissance Fair that didn't even, had never heard of Kinston right. maybe before that, their only memory or their only, like, reference point for mm-hmm. the town of Kinston when they hear about it from anybody else or they tell anyone else it was, awesome Renaissance Fair. We went there for this thing and da 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 Not yeah. any of the negative crap right. that is exactly. so commonly spewed. Exactly. It was, it was um, one thing I want to say is peop- those people that came as vendors and the people that came as, as participants thanked us. They mm-hmm. just kept thinking, just thinking, because see, it was nothing east. There right. was nothing east yeah. of 95. People went up to Virginia, but, but it was so get toable because that's why we put it out at the fairground, because it mm-hmm. could come off 70, it could come off, you know, come down 55 or 258, and you could get to it. It was just easy. You didn't mm-hmm. have to weave and go through the city, and it needed to be a big space, and it was yeah, a yeah, perfect yeah. space. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it, will he move it as it grows? Who knows? I, mean, I just don't know, but we found it to be a perfect space, and everybody, even... The fair people, Tanya and, and Gate and um, her husband, were so surprised because nobody. It was just it was just different for Kinston. Mm-hmm. Um, one guy said he had a, had to come just see that y'all really were having this, <laughs> just to make sure it was really a thing. Yeah, it was really a thing. I like that. Really that. That's sweet. It. I did. That's great. sweet. Yeah, he, he was he was very um, complimentary and supportive and appreciative, and he'll be back next year. Mm-hmm. This year, we're in this year. Yeah, a couple I mean, months. Now right? we're in a couple months. Yeah, it's already February. Yeah. Golly. So I wish him well. I I, I, I do. I really do. I'm excited for it. I, it. More people out there that are in, in and around town that have these like crazy, but like these mm-hmm. niche like things yeah. that you're into that are yeah. your your hobbies. Like, go for it. Put it together and let's do it. Like, yeah. why not? Oh, you and I would support them, wouldn't we? Yeah, yeah. I, I'm all for Check it. Check it out. Unique and different because you know there's so much un- uniqueness in the world. We can't be whole squares and circles. We just be you. Mm-hmm. Just be you. And and let's do something different. So Yeah. Know. Authenticity always wins in the long run, for sure. And that's kind of right. what we were talking about, too. Like, mm-hmm. so one of the things we were chatting about, too, before was, like, um, taking, like, something that you read that inspires you on mm-hmm. social media. Mm-hmm. And, you know, you can just reshare it, and that's fine. And it puts it out there. But not a lot of people she- see, like, reshared content. Like, if I make a post and you reshare it, really appreciate it. Mm-hmm. But it doesn't Resonate. really do a lot on mm-hmm. for you on your yeah. page. But we were talking about, like, what a, what a cool way it would be to go ahead and take that information, take it in, and then make a short 30 to 90 second video of yourself talking about why it brought you value. And then, you know, shout out the person that posted it, that mm-hmm. gave it, that put it in into your kind of, like, world for that day. Yeah. And then that's your post. And it's a more authentic you yeah. version of, instead of just resharing something and saying, check this out, I liked it, or just resharing it and saying nothing, you're like, no, nah, I'm going to make a video about it just because why not? I got my phone right here. And in the time I write what I, right. I can just say it. Yeah. But. And I found, too, that people do like to hear you talk. And then also um, I love them when they post what you're talking because sometimes they're yeah. doing it at work mm-hmm. and they shouldn't be doing it, but they can read what you've said. But yep. um, exactly. I do think people are authentic. Be, be authentically you. Don't try to be somebody else. And, um, you know. Some people will like you, some people won't. But, you know, as long as you're true to yourself and you wake up every morning and you strive to be you, not mm-hmm. something you've seen on Instagram. Or yeah, yeah. That'll get you in trouble. Yeah. That'll, that comparison game will really take you to the dungeon, right? Yeah. No doubt, no doubt. Yeah, yeah it's so definitely like people are drawn to the authenticity and then you're going to draw people in that you authentically, like, get along with. Yeah. Like, if you're faking yeah. it, you're probably going to have some people that you probably wouldn't vibe well with exactly. enter into the sphere and... I do. You know, I all do people f- are cool, but mm-hmm. not all people need to be in the inner circle. You know what I mean? Exactly. And you know, I, I read somewhere that, really, especially as we age, you know, really the well, the five people you surround yourself closely is is very important to becoming the best you you can become. Because if you surround yourself with people that don't have the same values you have or don't want the same, not necessarily want the same things, same, we'll go with same values and things, they're going to bring you down. And, and then that does bring you down. But if you sur- I like to surround my people that are more successful as me yep. or more <coughs> deeper in the word than I am and know more about this or that. And, and I, I'm, just, I'm, I'm just in awe of them. And um, it's not that I want to be like them, but I want to be a better me and learn some of what they got. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like to be at tables where I'm like the dumbest person at the table, exactly. for sure. I, well, that happens to me often, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. Yeah, that's funny. But like, but yeah, yeah exactly. in general, if you're the smartest person in your group of friends or like the most 
Oh, you you're think doing you are. it. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's that's worse. another problem too. That's all another thing. Yeah, yeah. But if you find yourself looking around and being like, "Man, I'm I'm trying to achieve this whole different realm of something," mm-hmm. then a lot of the people that are in this group, you can very quickly. Yeah, you need to find a group where there's people that have done and achieved the things you're trying to do and achieve, and exactly. they'll inherently drag you to those things. You're exactly. just gonna learn stuff from them, and people are willing to share when you show that, like you care and you're actually mm-hmm. there and all that fun stuff too. So exactly. And, you know, I think I do think that our journeys, um, highs and lows of our journeys, um, draw make you. There's a difference between sympathy and empathy, and when you've mm-hmm. gone through like my breast cancer, then someone knows that I know what they're going through. Mm-hmm. You know, rather than, or when you lose a child or, or, or you lose your job or something, you you find great comfort in somebody else saying, "I know what you're going through, man. I know what it feels like to be fired or or to." You know, no. And so that's why we go through things. Mm-hmm. Really, is to me, ultimately, is to help other people. So, yeah. Just anyway. little pay periods. Yeah. 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 Pay periods suck, though. Gosh. <laughs> I hate them. <laughs> Especially when you're trying to get really, really, oh, well, you know, to, to do, like, really, really great things because it makes that pay period even longer. And it's like, yeah. sometimes no you're pain, like, no gain. <sighs> yeah, that's exactly. Right. That's right. Yep, if, it was e- if what you were doing was easy, oh, geez, look, Steve. Oh, my look gosh. Out. I love it. That's hilarious. Steve Lovick, for those of you that can't Steve tell. Steve Lovick. Well, Steve Coming back from, uh, from dinner. Yep. Must have been serving some be- some drinks over there at Harp and Dill's tonight. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're great. We uh, snagged them. They were coming. They were walking along the side of the building when we were uh, yeah. moving the cars real quick so stuff could leave. And, uh, and Christina? Yeah. Going we, to dinner? Yeah, they're, they're oh. like off to dinner, but we get people all the time because they're just walking along the building, uh-huh. and then, like they'll get right at the doors, and we can't see them. Right. And we'll like rip the door open, and they'll be like... <gasps> And oh so we God. had got them. They were like a step and a half past the door, and we ripped the door open. And she turns around. She was like, "We're going to dinner." <laughs> they're great. Oh, I love, I love them both. They're yeah, such they're, good people. They're too funny. Yeah, too funny. Tell me, I'm being on, great uh, for Kinston. Yeah, absolutely, and around for a really good time too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rattle these off real quick for those of us. Okay. I'm doing the audio only on these sometimes, so I won't be able to just drop the graphic like we're doing right here. Okay. So for those that are just listening at home, the Facebook page, Allison Albert and Merritt, pretty yeah. standard. You can pretty find standard. Them. Yeah. And then uh, Instagram, Allison A. Merritt. Mm-hmm. So at Allison, A-L-I-S-O-N-A-M-E-R-R-I-T-T on the Instagram. Hit that up. Follow her. She does a, if nothing else, you probably need some more positivity in your feed anyway. If you're on Instagram and you check it daily, you could probably use one or two more positive posts. So check it out. It's check one it out. L. That's where people make mistake. A-L. You said it right. All right I'm cool. just reiterating it. I appreciate that. Yeah. No, Thank you. Good. Thank you. But when I'm typing it, I'll make sure. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's right. definitely one. Yeah. Well, cool. You got anything else to add? I really appreciate you coming out and doing this, especially when your husband, you know, throws you to the wolves and he, he, sacrificial no, he deferred. Land. He deferred. He no, said, Allison, why don't you do it? Yeah, I'd be more apt to, yeah. Um, and so we hopefully will get him on. But I appreciate really it. appreciate this opportunity. It's been a lot of fun getting to know you again yeah. better. Yeah. And I hope we continue to do some more of that. But um, thanks a lot. Thanks for all you're doing. And thanks for being in Kinston. For sure, for sure. I love Just it doing, when new young blood comes to Kinston. Oh yeah, I yeah. think I'm trying to bring more of it too. The bring whole it. point of the of the podcast is, um, and the reason I put these on YouTube almost only is because mm-hmm. I'm trying to I tag them all with hashtag Kinston because there's not a whole ton of videos on there that are tagged Kinston, but about there's maybe 300. Mm-hmm. A lot of them are about the negative stuff. So uh, I figure if I can do 100, 200 of these podcasts in a year, push them out, mm-hmm. and provide like a positive view of it then the numbers will start to take care of themselves. We'll have, you, if you're searching, if you're thinking of moving to Kinston and you're not from here, you're probably going to search it on Google and Google is going to pull up YouTube videos. And if you're trying to move and you pull up and your wife searches it and you've got three kids and some of these bad videos show up, you're going to be like, Ugh. so I'm trying to make that a lot easier that on the family. That's a great idea. That makes perfect sense. So yeah. over time, world Absolutely. attrition. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, cool. I appreciate it so much. Thank you so much. Absolutely. I enjoyed Epi- it. Yeah, that was great. It was great. That was uh, Kicking It With Episode 32. My name is Zach Holcomb. This is Allison Merritt, and we'll catch up with you on Episode 33.